well that's always the size oh i'm lying this is a 3.4 y'all not me not knowing my bottle sizes <laughs> So what is up, you guys? It's your girl, and she also known as Glam STD. If you're new here, welcome to the family, yeah! I am back with another one of my favorite kind of videos. You guys seem to like them okay, but we're going to keep trying them until we see the views we want to see. This will be a spring luxury perfume collection, perfume haul for you guys. Spring is here, even though it's freezing in Jersey. It is like 30-something degrees today. Um, so it is definitely not feeling like spring, but it is spring. So this is going to be my spring collection or my spring must-haves. Whatever you want to take it as, I'm giving y'all the gems on the spring scents. Let's get it. Let's go. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these type of videos. Okay, so I got my little notebook right here with me. It's pink, like everything else in my life. Have pink sleeve. Yep. Yeah. This sweater will also be linked down below. No, it won't because this sweater is gone. This is in my misguided try-on haul. I'll link it above. If you guys want to see where I got it from. I just thought it was perfect for like the spring. It's cute. It's giving the girls what it's supposed to give with the bun. Okay, let me see. Let me go to my notes. I wrote down notes because y'all, I do not be knowing what to say about these perfumes besides they smell really good. Um. Okay, so first things first, we're jumping into a toilet perfume. Perfume. All the perfumes and toilets are two different things. Toilets are usually a little bit... Um, more on the affordable side but they smell just as good and depending on the toilet it'll last so the first one I'm going to mention is Jimmy Choo floral which I also mentioned in my how to start a perfume collection video I'll link that above as well this is the bottle guys it matches my sweater how cute okay so Jimmy Choo floral it retails for about $84 I got mine as a gift and I'm gonna give you guys all the it's not focusing all the top middle and keynotes and what and I'm gonna suggest where I will wear this too so the top note is for, for this is Bergmont the middle is sweet pea mm. the bottom is musk and the mood is fresh and flirty so for this scent I didn't know smelling it from from off the jump that Bergmont was the first one I always spray up inside the top so I can actually get what they smell like but I definitely get the, the mood. It says fresh and flirty. That's exactly what it gives you. It gives you this sense of playfulness, but it's not immature. It's not like Bath and Body Works, you know, teen days wearing like the sweet pea. Like it mentioned sweet pea. It's not wearing like, it's not like wearing sweet pea back in the day. It definitely gives you sweet and flirty. It definitely gives you, I don't smell that Bergmont and I love Bergmont, but I love this scent. And um, I haven't worn it yet because we're just now heading into spring. I got it for Christmas. But I will definitely be wearing this. I would wear this to brunch. I would wear this toilet to run errands with the girls. I will wear this on a day date. If you have a date, you know, ice cream or, you know, you're meeting your boo for lunch or whatever, I would throw this on. I see myself wearing like a fresh white button up with some cut up jeans and some cute open toe shoes. This is that scent. It is definitely flirty and you will definitely get complimented if you wear this fragrance around a man. Even around your girlfriends, you know, if they're into fragrances, they may notice like, hey girl, what is that? You smell good so this is my first spring scent that i wanted to mention and i got mine as a gift but like i said you can get this at macy's or even um ulta check the links down below because they'll be the fragrances will be linked then my next fragrance is something i mentioned in my luxury purchases um for the month of march and it is miss idol intense by lancome it retails for 59 dollars this is a 0 0.8 ounce i got mine on sale for 30 bucks at ulta you can't you can't not not buy things when they're on sale in my opinion you just can't like how you gonna how are you gonna tell me it's on sale and i'm not gonna purchase it how how no i got it for 30 dollars. so the it is a floral it's the floral family all of these scents are floral family because i mean we're going into spring so there's the floral family but it's considered a warm floral i got the intense i mentioned again and the top note is sensual rose fresh jasmine middle warm musk again that musk the bottom is cedar madagascar and madagascar bourbon vanilla this gives me all of that when i smell this i think of again brunch again brunch i don't really get the musky notes this is the intense version i like the intense version better than the original and that's just because i always like remixes i always like the second rework i don't know i just feel like once that initial one 
smells bomb i know the intense is gonna smell bomb because they went back in the lab and they reworked it and they made it better that's what i get from intenses or sister fragrances or you know even makeup like the second time is always like the the winner so i picked this up and y'all this gives me again day daytime brunch date night with i mean date day dates with the girls day date with the boo you know i see i can see this with the maxi dress on and because it is not that strong i definitely would wear this during the day like morning time I could throw this on going to work, you know, but it's definitely a spring scent. Like I said, warm florals, all the all the perfumes are warm florals because girl, we going into summertime. But I don't like smelling like a garden, so that's why I like the intense one. And you smell that musk and you smell that Madagascar vanilla for freaking sure. So again, check the description box boo because it's gonna be down below. My next one, let me scroll to the next page. My next one, boo, is my girl. My Miss, my, my Burberry again. I love me some Burberry scents, y'all. This is a toilet. This is the My Burberry toilet, and this is the packaging it came in. Oh, it's so pretty. It retails for about $85. The key notes in this one are lemon flower, peach flower, and fresh musk. Again, a lot of these are flowery and musky. I do not like smelling like a garden. But this one gives me, it says fresh florals, but it definitely gives me, it could be warm. I wore this a lot last summer as well. I like this for going day to night, to be honest with you. I can wear this all day going into the evening nights or if you're getting ready around five o'clock and you have reservations in the summertime for like 7 p.m., I would throw this on. It layers really pretty with other fragrances. And can we just talk about the packaging? Like you can't get over cute packaging. Packaging sells to me. Like if I see something cute, I'm gonna be like, well, I want that. So I also get a hint of vanilla. It doesn't say anything about vanilla in the notes, but I smell vanilla. And honestly, when I got this last year, I was like, I don't like it. Like I brought it blind because I got issues. Um, and I was wearing it and I'm like, I don't like it. But now that I'm smelling it again, I'm like, hmm. And I got so many compliments on it. Like I know I smell good when honestly my brother tells me like, oh, what are you wearing? Because men don't pay attention to detail but when they can smell something that they like they'll tell you so my brother told me like that smells really pretty and i was like oh okay um so yeah this is another one that i love for the spring and like i said it retails for 30 30 woo, 85 dollars i got mine at marshall's um and i don't know how much i paid for it but it was less than 85 dollars so again check your local marshall's and your tj maxx for stuff that's coming in this spring you never know you may find you a keeper my next scent is love relentlessly okay this is love relentlessly by miss tori birch miss tori birch is not talked about when it comes to scents when i be watching all the youtube girls when i be watching all my scent videos miss tori birch will not be talked about and i'll be like hello luxury comes from everywhere y'all don't ever talk about miss tori birch like she is counted out no ma'am this scent is so freaking pretty let me read y'all the notes really quickly so this has it's a warm floral again with the family. Keynotes, pink pepper, rose, and sandalwood. That sandalwood is what sets this one apart. The, first of all, the packaging, okay? Again, I'm a sucker for packaging. If it's cute, I'm probably gonna want it. It's pink, it's a different shape, it has the gold top. I love this. And y'all, this pink, the pink peppercorn in this is what makes this different. Like, it smells so good. Like, oh my goodness. Again, I'm gonna spray it in the top. I'm spraying all of these and smelling them, and I don't know how y'all be sitting through whole collections because, baby, I have a lot of perfume. I will be burned out. Again, this hat, and I almost smell a powder tone. It's no powder in the notes, but a powder tone. And I haven't smelled any of these realistically in a good five to six months because it's been winter months, and I've been sticking to my decadence and my ysl libre intense and my muratanka so smelling all of these now i'm just like oh my gosh i own all these beautiful beautiful fragrances i definitely get a powder note in here but there isn't one um in the note keys but y'all love relentlessly i do not know if they sell this anymore in sephora if they do it will be linked down below but i know you can get your hands on it at ulta i got this one again at marshall's i definitely didn't pay retail price for it so this bottle retails for Oh, I don't have the price down here. I think it retails for like maybe 70 bucks because that's usually what? Rude. This usually uh, retails for about 70 bucks, um, this size. And this is the 1.7 as well. That's always the size. Oh, I'm lying. This is a 3.4. Y'all, 
not me not knowing my bottle sizes. This is the 3.4, Miss Tory Burch. I don't know what maybe bought bodies because I usually like small ones. But yeah, it is still full. This one, I would definitely, I can definitely see this on a date. A day date. A day date. This is not taking you into the nighttime. It could, but I would layer it. Like I said, the Burberry can take you into the night. The Idol can probably take you into the night into the night with that musk. But this is a daytime scent. And you get, like I said, it gives me a little bit of powder. I would definitely wear this on a date because your date gonna be like, Ooh, girl, you smell good. Come here. Like, <laughs> and you going to brunch with your man or your boo, your bae, whatever. Or even um an early breakfast date or a brunch like any any time during the day if you're going out with him i would dab this on cute with a cute little dress cute little clear heel cute little bag this is that scent for you i definitely suggest the smaller ounces because you know like i said if you're smart at starting a collection start smaller i just happened to get the 3.4 ounce and again i got mine i believe at marshall's and i think i paid like 50 bucks for it so yeah that's this scent my next scent Again, I always like remixes. Keep in mind, I always like remixes, redos, intense something. So I have me a little cute Victor and Raw flower bomb. And y'all, look at the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. So this is what all their flower bombs look like. It just has this cute detailing around it. And this is their Bombalicious um, flower bomb. And y'all, it smells like... It smells like girl. Like, I don't know. Like, when I smell this, I just think of girly girl. It smells so good. So, it retails for... I forgot to start... I forgot to write down the price when I was writing down my notes. I believe this retails for about $70, like his other ones. And this is the... Okay, y'all. So, this is the 1.7 ounce in this one. And like I said, I didn't write down where it retailed for. I just tried to look it up for you guys. And I can't find it in my notes. Um, but the top note for this is grapefruit, mandarin, and bergamot, middle rose, and lily. Lily of the valley, I'm sorry. Jasmine, musk, and black currant. So, again, we got the sweet with the bergamot. The bergamot be setting off the tones. For bergamot to be a stronger scent, all of these are so light and pretty. This right here is different from the original flower bomb i feel like the original is really 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 floral again i don't like smelling like i'm in the garden i just don't i definitely smell the the mandarin in this one i smell the the grapefruit as well it definitely is a little bit more citrusy compared to the original one i don't have the original one i do have flower bomb midnight which is um a little bit more intense but that, again that is sexy but y'all i always like the remixes I love this scent. It is so pretty. I could definitely see this being worn to brunch and then the day, the day continues into like a day party or, you know, a, late, a, a early dinner with your man, your boo, your bae, whatever. It is so, so, so pretty. Like, and girly. Like, the packaging just screams girly. Like, I like to wear this pink bottle when I'm wearing something pink because I don't know why the color, the color matters to me. But I definitely like to wear this when it's nice and um, warm outside. If it's cold, I mean, you could because it is sweet, but I prefer it in the spring, in the summertime. You can definitely get away with any of these fragrances in the summer as well as the spring, but I do have a summer's fragrance video coming, so make sure you subscribe. Like, come on now, I'm giving y'all the content. Let, let's, let's, get with, let's get with it. We're on the luxury fragrance train, so hop on with me before we get far, okay? Okay, I got this one again at Marshall's. I found a lot of my luxury fragrances at Marshall's because, again, they get a lot of their overdrafted stuff, the remixed bottles. I think you can get this particular one at Macy's. Again, it will be linked down below. But if you want to try the original Flower Bomb, it smells just as good. Or the Midnight one. Or Nectar. Nectar smells really good, too. I'm just not a fan of it to wear. But it smells really, really pretty. Yeah, so this is my next fragrance. My next two ones are little mini ones. I mentioned this one in my luxury purchases for March. This is the Burberry Her. I got the mini one because I do have her London, her, her London, her, I, can, I want y'all to see the packaging. I got the Her London Dream by Burberry, which I personally did wear this winter and I will be wearing it in this spring at nighttime, boo, because at the end of the day, it is what it is. I, I like the way it smells, boo. This one, however, is a lot lighter than the Her London Dream, this one gives me girly again. All my spring scents give me girly. Like, I smell like a girl, like a woman. Like, I don't know. And I'm saying girly because, like, the Murantanka by... May, not Mason Francis. By Joe Malone. A lot of their fragrances are unisex. So, this, these give me just girly. I can't see a man wearing this. So, that's why I always describe it as girly. Very light, very pretty. Again, the pink packaging just tells you 
it's for a girl for a woman you know on the go and I love this I don't have the notes for this one because these are just pickups that I want to show y'all as I sat down to film I don't have notes but it will be on the screen of course like everything else and this is another bonus one that I wanted to share with you guys this is replica lazy Sunday morning by Mason Margiela y'all this right now this gives me clean clean if you like clean scents and you will like bubble bath by them as well i love lazy sunday morning this was a gift from for christmas for me i don't know why i was trying to spray it in this little behind top the little top is not doing it for this little bed but i did it anyway this definitely gives me this definitely gives me lazy sunday morning like the, the name of the perfume um i would definitely throw this on if i'm just running errands if I do have a brush to go to, I would definitely wear this. This is just the perfume that you keep inside your purse during the summertime because you never know as the day goes on. You know, you want to just smell fresh. This is very fresh smelling. It gives you almost clean linen. Like, if you sprayed this on your sheets and threw them in the washer, you're still going to smell this perfume. It gives you exactly the title of the name. The title of the name. You know what I'm trying to say. It gives you Lazy Sunday Morning. It just is so clean. I definitely wouldn't wear this at night. I definitely would wear this during the day. Like I said, brunch, lunch, breakfast, running errands. Definitely, this is your girl for that. Even on vacation, I would throw this on because it's such a light and airy perfume. But it definitely still makes a subtle statement like wearing it. No one's going to walk past you wearing that and, and not smell you. They're going to smell you. You ain't going to smell like laundry. You're going to smell like effortless, sexy, <laughs> morning brunch type. But that is it for this video, guys. Like I said, I love these type of videos. You guys may not love them as much as I do. But fragrance is something that is near and dear to my heart. So I want to put all the girls on and want everybody to be smelling good. But like I said, everything that I mentioned should be linked down below if I can find the links. Hopefully none of these perfumes are discontinued because some of them are a little bit older. But I love you guys so, so, so much. If you have any videos that you want to see from me fragrance-wise, like what I will wear with each fragrance, I don't know. That may be a video. Um, if you guys are interested in that, please let me know. Make sure, I, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Boom. Right here right here to see the fragrances i wear on the daily i always post like today's fragrance um and of course just to support your girl and all her content you can also follow me on what boom tiktok because your girl is doing some content on there as well according to i mean along i can't call along the lines of perfume content as well and i want you guys to be hip with all my new adventures so i love you guys this is so much i will see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.